Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. It's time to go to the new zone. Slag. Lava. Oh, this is going to look so cool. Even more cool when we get on the ground, I think. And new music for the zone. Three locations to visit right now. Why not this one first? Just casual pools of lava. Can I walk on them? Not exactly. Kind of skimming the edge, <laughs> which would melt my boots and my feet, but. Sweating like a pig. Yeah, this seems like. You're the one that just complained, Dawn. I don't think this would be a very hospitable place for humans. Or any not, like, mechanical creature. Jagged black rocks have formed as the incandescent lava cools. Oh, the thing's coming out of their head. Look at them swish. Is that a giant skeleton hologram waving at me? The entrance to the building is guarded. I'm gonna chafe so bad, Mark. Every branch is bone white and dry, scorched bare by the volcanic wind. Charnel House. Pressure rumbles in the network of pipes. I'm guessing there's a lot of geothermal energy use here. I can't decide where I want to go first. Jets of flame rise occasionally from the vent. I don't know, that seems pretty constant to me. In his mechanical arms, the guard wields two guns no regular person could lift alone. The guard is protected by a large mechanized suit. Yes, yeah, so these creatures that are all over here that seem to be able to live here comfortably. We saw one of them at um, Witherburg, the Witherburg Bar. The strange machine's machine thrums with activity. Black worm on a golden flag. Uh, I think <laughs> I think this hotspot for the flag is supposed to be on the flag over here. 
Yeah, I guess... I guess it is a worm. It kind of looks more serpent-like, though, I would say. I love these roofs. Almost like gold-colored tiles. At last, our savior arrives at Scoria. You expecting me? We are. I am the legate of the Flay of Scoria. How could you be expecting me? Oh, did Arthur not send me to Scoria? Lie or don't lie. Mm, I'm not gonna lie. No, not me. Oh, a pity. We lost hope in seeing them again. Oh, Atom was the bravest fly in all the snake. They left seeking a cure for the foul brood. That's the person we met at the bar. Uh, the fly are symbiotes. Each fly is two. The host and the bristle worm. They are separate, and yet they are one. The foul brood jeopardizes our perfect harmony. What's the foul brood? Once we are bonded, host and bristle worm are inseparable. Five years ago, this century old syllogism was threatened. If we step a foot or Barbarissa out of our own land, oh, we experience the onset of a malefic pain, like our brains are boiling inside our hits. Innocent bristle worms are driven from their hosts, oh, in the most agonizing way. Neither host nor worm can survive without the other. Atom, the bravest of the brave, ran out of Scoria as blood spurted from their red tentacles. Oh, we are dying. We need help. I also need help. Who's in charge around here? You may speak to the clan more in the etchery. Only you may enter. Leave your companions at the entrance. is probably that place that I was blocked from down below. The temperature is dangerously high for you and Don. The pods look lightweight, strong, and well insulated made for habitation rather than production. All right, then there's the charnel house. Well, let's not go there yet. Whoa. There's no way we could live walking around in here. But it's incredibly cool. A jet of magma shoots from the volcanic rock. Even the plants look like they're on fire here. Shit, I think my shoes are melting. <laughs> yeah, I bet. The ornate steel and brass of the bridge radiates heat in the sweltering air. Every building is a nexus of oppressive heat. The structure emanates waves of heat. A wriggling mass of larvae occupy the tank. 
Oh, the worms are probably what this necrosis stimulation tank is going to be about. Giving the illusion of movement and living tissue with whatever's inside of it. Bee-like robotic creatures tend to the tanks. What's through here? The hatchery sits dry and empty, a thin layer of algae coating the bottom. There's a dead one here. The segmented worm smells like an old sock. It's definitely very dead. I just need some power. Um, we do have fuel cell. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> I also don't wa know why we'd need the thing to wriggle. It makes it give the appearance of movement. It doesn't actually revive it, I don't think. So it's just an illusion, really. I'm wondering what's up with all the extra gold. Either there's something else that I haven't bought yet that I'm going to need to buy. I mean, like a new store or the old stores are going to get new items because I've bought literally everything I could buy at the time. Um, so either there's going to be new items or they're just putting extra gold fragments, a lot of extra ones, to make sure that if you don't look too closely for gold, you're not going to come up short, hopefully, by the end of the game to get the necessary things. Newly hatched worms squirm and convulse in a tank of fluid. It's hot as hell in here. God, you know what that line makes me think of? I just double checked online to be sure. Yeah, that's exactly what James says to Angela in Silent Hill 2. When they're on the stairs talking, Angela goes up through the flames. And as they're walking away, James says, it's hot as hell in here. It doesn't, maybe it doesn't sound that powerful, but God, that was a powerful scene in that line. I love it. The way he says it is just so perfect. The live, is it live, lith? The lithe black worm twists gently atop the flay scientist's head. Uh-uh. What is it? You have arrived at a most troublesome time! That is not the voice I was expecting. <laughs> they sound so silly. I need something, you need something. Let's help each other. Is that the tone you take when addressing the war? Excellent! How dare you address the first play in such a manner? You have one job to which thank you introduction! Grandma, I am a friend to the flay. Mmm, yes! Good! Your words flatter me, human! I assume that all the legates had explained our situation to you. Foulbrood, yeah, I understand that you're stuck here. Atom was a fine play. 
They may rule the way to Vesta before they vanish from our screen. The fray are vastly technologically superior to all around us. This should be the dawn of the fray. But the full brew keeps us from expanding to the edge of flag and beyond. Did that tomb give you the location of the boss of Chiron? The boss of Chiron? Yeah, I know some of those words. Oh, the great boss of civilization! For the walls and the Chiron! The cure to the foul brood has to be in boss! Any idea what the cure looks like? How would I know that? Our research indicated the boss had encountered a similar infrasonic waveform. Mm -hmm. It matches the foul brood vibration patterns. Mm -hmm. The antidote to our misery lies with the boss. Oh, these questions. Can I have one of those laser guns? Are you aliens? What are you? Where did the flay come from? Oh, I am the first of this apiary. I hatched an age ago from a golden egg. A young mongrel boy found me. At first, he kept me in a tank. I escaped, and while he slept, I was delivered into his ear. What happened to him? Mm, he became the first play house. The host must be a child. Their brains are soft. Their spines mm, malleable. Mm, if their skulls are not yet knit together, allowing the play to extend through the soft flesh. We are always in need of more hosts. Mm, the mongrels are resistant to our domination, but once we are cured, we shall reap their nearest crop of hosts. But only if you're cured first. We will give you access to our database. I have enabled the terminal to provide you with access to the collective knowledge of this world. Scan the item and it will cross reference the data against the vast tribe of fly intelligence. You may pursue your own research, but never forget our plight. Thank you, Grandma. Okay, I'm a little hesitant about helping them now, because if I cure them, apparently they're just gonna take over a bunch of children as hosts. Hmm. Did they open the database before I've helped them? I, gu I guess so, we can just scan stuff. Well, I want to look around a little bit first. Oh, this is some science fiction shit right here. <laughs> A muscular flay sentry stands guard, the worm attached to him twitching intermittently. Electricity surges through the generator. Back to the beginning. By the way, if you hear snoring in the background, that is one of our cats, Transpian, sleeping in the room and she's snoring really loudly. It's so cute. I'm not sure if that's helpful. I can't read that. New message. Genetic sequence synthesized. Wait, what do you mean? 
Hold on, what do you mean message? Like Is is the message just that genetic sequence synthesized? Or did you like give me something? I think that was it. I don't know if it has any use though. Oh, you know what I haven't done? Oh, here. Yeah, investigation. I mean, that hasn't changed. Charlize, that hasn't changed. Penrose. What the hell's here? <laughs> Burned hole in the map. Okay, so... Yeah, there's some pages that I don't think you can access through the bookmarks. Um, oh, no. No, no, no. You can. But they don't seem to change very much. So I don't know what genetic sequence um, synthesized actually means practically, but it's done. I guess. Whoa. Uh. I didn't do it on purpose. Um, was it the proto nanite that I scanned? What message showed up? Technology specifications retrieved. What does that mean practically? Is that updating a quest? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna save before I scan more things. Oh, I can't I can't put the cigarettes in there. What is that? There's a button. Oh! It fixed Buddy! Dawn, you seeing this? Where's Dawn? Oh, right, they're not here. Because they couldn't come with us. Well, let's see them in a minute, then. Um, okay, so it, there isn't only something to do when a message pops up. Also, sometimes there's a button. That makes me want to go back and scan everything and just check whether I missed a button. <laughs> Did not miss any buttons. Has it ever been clarified what this is, by the way? This has got green emanating from it. Is there still something I should be doing here? Let me save again and do the thing again. Wasn't that the thing that made this explode? Huh. Guess it only happens once. I still think I can do something here. It's got green around it. Why? Dawn's going to be so happy. Buddy, you actually here. Uh, you, you did this for me. He helped you a lot and means so much to you. Thank you, Mark. This is amazing. Thank you. Who's a good boy, hey, buddy? You are. <laughs> Let's go check out the charnel house? Yeah, charnel house. I 
these are lights, I think. They look like they're made out of, I don't know, nuggets of something that glows. And that has a name on it. Jocko? Why only that one? Oh, this one does two. Probably, uh, backers. How's it going, Maki? Oh, I love the way these steps look. Oh, look at that statue. Is this the statue that we see in the intro video to the game at the very beginning? At least a piece of gold or something. I'm gonna check again. It really seems like there's just nothing. I think it's time to go to another location. gate. <laughs> the murky swamp water emits the smell of sulfur. There's a skeleton just casually bobbing up and down there. Slow down. Sorry. These people here look like... Uh, the people look like the person who was fishing at, um... I think that was also at Witherburg, wasn't it? Yeah. And then also their bug also looked like this, I think. Looks like they're drumming on their own butt. Having a lot of fun up there. I don't think I'll eat what these oaks are fishing for me. It's so interesting how these different groups of people that live in very different environments all have totally different ways of living and just the way all of their houses and and pathways look are completely unique barrels of harvested swamp gas and other necessities have been neatly packed swamp gas is a necessity what do you use it for a masked figure casts its line into the muddy water Carcass. Oh, that's rather big, isn't it? Hide and flesh are being stripped from the dead body of a gigantic crocodile. The 
pipes appear to be extracting gas from the swamp. The battered steel barrels are filled with gas from the surrounding swamp. I guess the swamp gas is flammable. A lookout skulks in the shadows. Heads up, civilian. These guys are heavily armed. Let's not go there just yet. Wait, I can walk there? Isn't that just air? Alright. Dozens of crocodile rib racks have been hung from drying hooks. Oh, it's a lot of built up. The gas is used to power turbines, weapons, and cooking fires. That's not a piece of gold, which means it's probably important for a quest. I hope this thing doesn't hatch in my satchel. <laughs> God, you know what that looks like? That really looks like a cantaloupe of uh, the fruit. That super looks like it. Those are big bugs. 